my name is Lois Mwaniki and I'm your people's warden. And we just want to appreciate each and every one of you. And we might not have reached out to you earlier, but I know our vicar has been calling most of you. And also he has made um, some WhatsApp group that we can communicate with one another. But following the government directive that uh, churches should remain closed, we have closed church and we continue to remain closed until otherwise advised. And I know many of you have called wondering whether church is open, you want to come and pray, you want the vicar to pray for you, you want to bring your tithe, you want to bring a thanksgiving offering, but this has not been possible because we cannot open church to some people and not open, everyone would want to come. But even with all this, it does not mean we cannot have churches in our homes. And we have been having and we encourage you to continue having churches in your home. And we just want to say that any prayer requests that you might need, please feel free to call. You can call the vicar. And you know the vicar, we have several reverends within us. We've got Reverend Grace Yongo, we've got Reverend Waiyaki, we've got Reverend Collins, we've got lay readers in each and every church of uh, St. Ignatius at Kaimurunya and here. And please, if you do not have their phone numbers, just call the office main line. They'll be able to help you. So that any prayers that you may require, then... Um, the vicar would be in a position to, to do that. If you call the people's warden uh, for anything that might, you might be needing, I can also arrange it with the vicar or whoever will be responsible and then um, we can reach out to you. And we also want to thank uh, Patrick and Rosemary. They have been uh, talking to the youth and should you the youth or the teenagers or the little ones want a word with their with, 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 the, with the Captain Rosemary or Pastor Patrick, then please let them call them so that they can talk to them issues that pertains to them and that they need um, to do. Uh, we also want to encourage um, the group leaders of the various Bible study groups. That was, I mean, we have the one at Kisembe, we have the one at Karen, Bogani, the diaspora, and we have the lay readers who are responsible for those groups. Please um, do have their number so that you can call them. Should you need any clarification, should you need prayers, let them know they are your leaders there. And we also want to, at this time, we know there might be a bit of um, uh, domestic issues. I mean, we are all locked down and everybody's maybe anger might not be <laughs> directed at the places that need be. And should there be any domestic issues that need to be addressed, then we've got our mom, we've got uh, Mrs. Sarah Komu. Please reach out to her. If there's something that she cannot handle, she'll ask the vicar. But for the ladies, please let us call... Um, Sarah Komu, she'll be in a position to talk to you. Uh, the Reverend is also there to talk to you. Let us make use of them, even as we pray for our vicar, the other reverends and the church leaders, so that they are also strengthened in the Lord. And then, of course, we have the needy uh, in our groups, in our midst, we know who they are. Let no family sleep hungry. If you know of a needy family, Please let the chair lady, and it's unfortunate that we, we, we went on lockdown before the new chair, chair lady, Beatrice Mugambi, was introduced to us. But she's our new chair lady. If there's any need that needs to be addressed, you can call her. If not, then you've still got Jane Kirago, who was our chair lady. She can still coordinate with, with Beatrice so that um, uh, these needs can be met. And we just want to give a special thank you to a family that has actually been visiting the church every day and making sure our God is fed and is taken care of and we just want to appreciate that. And we've got one of us also who has been bringing 
uh, cartons of food to families that are needy and for those that have distributed this food. I just want to really say a big thank you and appreciate your efforts. And more so for the ladies who came up with the idea that we just put uh, something together and reach out to these families. We might not have done it now, and we know, we don't know how long this lockdown will be, and we know the needs will be many, and this we will try to meet as much as we can. And even as church is not meeting, we know many of you have celebrated your birthday since February, your anniversaries, you've had your Thanksgiving, and we want to appreciate each and every one of you. Please know that we are praying for you. We do remember that. But most of all, we please ask, for those young mothers who have babies that need to be immunized, please do so. I know it is uh, difficult right now. Everybody is wondering, do I go to hospital? Is it safe? But they need the immunization. And I know in most hospitals, they have put places where the children can be taken. The well baby clinics have been kept far off, so the babies are still uh, protected. The mothers are protected, so please let us attend our antenatal clinics, let us attend the clinics, let us take our children for immunization because if you don't, then we will be retrogressing again. But more so, if we get sick, I know nobody wants to go to the hospital now. Everybody wants to run to the chemist and buy medication because you might go and you're told to go for COVID testing. But should you feel unwell, please let us seek medical advice so that when we open the church, we have each and every one of us back in the church. And then let us follow the government guidelines. Let us stay at home. Let us uh, protect ourselves by clearly washing our hands. Let us wear our masks wherever we go out. We have our masks. It's not that we don't have them. It's just that we need to talk to you. And also let us practice social distancing. Nairobi is locked down. Let us not look for Panya routes to go to Murang or wherever we like going. Please let us stay in our homes. And also let us pray for our children, especially those who will be sitting for KCP, those who will be sitting for KCSC, so that um, they can continue learning and they can do well. But also we want to remind you that the church is still ongoing. We still have projects that will be going on. So let us pray for our projects. Let us pray for everything that the calendar year had for us. Even though we are not in church, it will still continue. So let us continue praying. And let us also remember to give in our tithes and our offerings and our thanksgiving. The Mpesa pay bill number is always shown. So let us remember to do that because we still, the church is running and we also want to still continue being faithful to God who has continued to keep us. Let us pray for one another and remember each other in prayer. And therefore now I'll invite our vicar, Reverend Komu, to come and do a prayer for each and every one of us. Thank you. Thank you, People's Warden. We are always happy when we serve you. And this morning, we are glad to come to you and to share with you as your servant. We know this time we are going through is a difficult time. It's a time that you can feel powerless. But as Christians, when we feel powerless, is the time that we remember we have a God that we can be able to reach through prayers. And therefore, it's my prayer that we continue to commit each and every one of us to the Father because it's a God who cares, it's a God who always provides, it's a God who is able to bend his ear and to hear us even at a time as this. So thank you, Puswaden, for what you have put across. And I know we are committed, we'll be able to follow, we'll be able to read our heart to people who are in need. We'll remember to pray for each and every one of us. We'll remember also to be together with our family, the family unit. God wants us to be together, despite that we might be going through difficulty. Let us get close to our wives, get close to our husband, to our teenagers, to our children, and let us focus to our Father, because He's our God who cares. May God bless all of us. Let us pray. Gracious Master, our Abba Father, we thank you, we honor you, and we come before thee this wonderful morning. Thank you for sending my family. Ever living God, we thank you because you love us, Lord. 
you care for us, Jehovah Father. And we know even at times like this, that your gracious heart is upon us. I want to commit each and every family to you. My eternal living God, I want to commit the couples, the single mothers, the single fathers to you, Lord. At times like this, when we are going through tough time. I know some family might be going through some economic crisis this time. If I believe in God, I commit them to you. Gracious Master, you are our great I am. There is nothing impossible with thee. And Jehovah Father, we trust thee. And that's why we commit this family unto you. The Lord, you may be able to supply to them even this time of great hardship. Might and living God, we remember our children, we remember our teenagers. They are together with us. Might and living God, we know we are under lockdown. And there's not much that's happening. Ever living God, we pray, Lord, you give us the spirit of humility, the spirit of listening to each other, the spirit of respecting each other in the name of Jesus Christ. So that at a time like this, we are able to see even the stars. Because during the darkest hour, that's when the stars are visible. Ever living God and us, my road to humble and to come even closer to you in the name of Jesus Christ. There are parents, my Redeemer, who probably are not able to stay home because of their work. I pray to our King, the Lord, you may remember them and protect them, Lord, and give them the creativity solution, Lord, on how they can take care of their children in Jesus' name. Those with the small children, help them, my Redeemer, to take good care of them in the name of Jesus Christ. Ever living King, there are many of us who have celebrated birthdays, anniversaries, Lord. My Lord, I commit them unto you. My Lord, we give thanks unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive our thanksgiving in the name of Jesus Christ. Continue to bless them, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. We have candidates for Christ 8, the form 4. We commit them to you, Lord Almighty, as they continue preparing for the exam. I pray, Jehovah Father, Lord, your favor will be upon them, Jehovah. Even at a time like this, they are preparing the exam. Ever living God, I know and I believe the Lord will be able to capture all areas and they will be able even to pass the exams in the name of Jesus Christ. Remove anxiety from them in the name of Jesus Christ. Ever living God, there might be some of our members who are not feeling well. I commit them unto you. Ever living God, stretch your healing heart upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. Ever living God, may your grace be upon them and your help, Jehovah, in the name of Jesus Christ. Even needs the Lord you have not mentioned. We commit them to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The leadership of this church, I commit them to you. Who have been committed, my Father. May you continue to bless them together with their family in the name of Jesus Christ. St. Matthews have continued to support the work of this ministry. May you continue to break the work of their hearts. May you continue to break their businesses even at a time like this. The Lord, they will not die. But Jehovah Father, they will continue. And even after the pandemic, Lord Almighty, you continue to increase us in the name of Jesus Christ. We commit all of us, the leaders, the clergy in these ministries and mothers, in your able heart. And so a Christian Call us as they seek counseling from us. But even God, we pray for your wisdom, your knowledge, in the name of Jesus Christ. As we assist them, my Redeemer, and as we commit them to you, we pray for your strength. We honor you and we glorify thee. Even what we have not mentioned, we know, Lord, you are going to provide to us in the name of Jesus Christ. We glorify thee. We magnify thee. Thank you for hearing our prayer. Thank you for blessing St. Matthew's family. Thank you for your protection, Lord. Thank you for your profession, Jehovah, in the name of Jesus Christ. We honor you and glorify thee because you are a great God. And this we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Have a blessed time. It's our prayer. that This pandemic is coming to an end. And we will come back to our normal gathering in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you.